Cover any major news stories happening in the city or around the globe. From reporting on criminal activity like robbery and corruption to investigating the murder of Eric Garner. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's right.
During my travels, I met up with the other members of the Justice League, who I joined in defending the world from tyranny and hate. Did you hear that, everyone? All those years of training, combined with her powers, abilities, and compassion for humanity, helped her become a member of the Justice League. Wonder Woman, you are not only strong, but also physically fit. You said you trained on your home island of Themyscira. Would you mind teaching our young heroes here some of the techniques you learned to stay in super heroic shape? It would be my pleasure, Lois. I spent years training in traditional weaponry and combat, including sword fighting, archery, using the, and using the bow staff. It may look simple, but with the right training... Ready? Alright, Lois and Superman, let's get our trainees into their positions. Hi there, young hero. Why don't you stand right here between right. me and Lois? There you go. All right, everyone. So, the first thing you need to learn is one of the many battle stances. Today, I'm going to teach you the ready stance. Everyone in the audience can stand up and follow along. All right, everyone, spread your feet apart like this. You're going to need a strong foundation for the staff moves we'll be teaching you. For those of you without a bow staff, you can follow along with me and Superman. All right, our first move will be the high block. Everybody raise your staffs in an upward motion like this. High block. Good. Now for the low block, drop your staffs down like this. Low block. Good. Let's put those blocks together. Ready stance. High block. Low block. Ready stance. High block. Low block. Ready stance. High block. Low block. Really good. You're really getting it. I knew this was going to be a great group of trainees. What does the crowd out there think? Give them a round of applause. Nice work, gang. Great, let's try it again. Ready? Step forward and high strike. Good. Now for the low strike. Step forward with the other foot and strike low. Whoa, we've got some really quick learners here. Let's put those strikes together. Step forward and high strike. Step forward and low strike. Great. Back to your position. We'll try it one more time. Step forward and high strike. Step forward and low strike. With their amazing abilities. Have you always had the power of super speed? As a matter of fact, Lois, I didn't always have these powers. You see, I used to be a scientist. Then one night while I was working late in my laboratory, a lightning bolt broke through the roof and shattered a case full of chemicals. Those chemicals splashed onto me and mixed together along with the lightning, and well, let's just say, I was never the same again. That laboratory accident gave me the powers of the speed force. That's incredible! What's the speed force, and what powers does it give you? The speed force is a cosmic energy that, that I can tap into to do all kinds of incredible things, like, like, like move extremely fast, Run up the sides of buildings, across oceans, and around the world in seconds. I can even vibrate my molecules to phase through solid objects. I also have superhuman reflexes. And just how fast can you run, exactly? Well, I am the fastest man alive. Sure, Flash. But let's just say, somewhere between faster than the speed of sound and the speed of light. But an easier way to put it. I can move faster than you can see. I've also heard that you can travel through time. Is that true? And if so, how do you do it? Well, it's a bit complicated, but basically, I invented a machine called the Cosmic Treadmill, which allows me to channel the speed force and travel through time. But I don't like to use it very often, since time travel can cause a lot of problems. Well, those are some amazing powers you have, Flash. Thanks, Lois. And I use every one of them in my constant battle for justice. Justice. Oh. Did somebody say justice? Ah, that man, you surprised me. He always does that. He made it just to sneak up on me, and I have super hearing. Batman, say hello to our young heroes who came here today to learn about the world's greatest superheroes, the Justice League. Hello. Batman, know oh, you're a man of few words. Do you mind answering a few questions so the folks here today can learn more about you? Of course, Lois, I'd be happy to. Great! We know you are from Gotham City, where you've worked tirelessly to protect the citizens from crazed criminals like Harley Quinn, the Penguin, Two-Face Bane, and Scarecrow. But who is your most diabolical adversary? Well, they're all bad in their own way. The Riddler's a nuisance, and Catwoman is always mischievous. But I'd have to say the Clown Prince of Crime, better known as the Joker, is the worst of them all. 
And can you tell us, why do you dress like a bat, and how has that helped you defeat your foe? I chose the bat because it's a strong symbol that strikes fear into the hearts of Gotham City's worst criminals. Bats are creatures of the night that work in the shadows, just as I do. I also incorporated many of the natural abilities of the bat into my suit, not only in its design, but also in how I protect myself in combat. Interesting. I've heard that you're one of the world's greatest martial artists. How did you learn your fighting skills? I traveled the world and mastered the many skills I would need to fight crime. I also studied with martial arts experts. Would you like to learn some of these moves? Yes, Batman, I'm sure our young heroes would like to learn how to better protect themselves and those in need. And maybe one day help you fight crime. That's right. Now, one of my most vital tools in crime fighting is my cape. I not only use my cape to intimidate the enemy, but also as both a shield and self-defense, and a weapon. Here are some of the moves you can learn. Everybody can stand up and follow along with me. First, the protection move. One way I defend myself when battling the Joker is laughing gas to cover my face with my cape. Like this. Cover right. Cover left. Double cover. Okay, everyone. Let's all do this first move with Batman. Cover right. Cover left. Double cover. Now, let's switch from defensive maneuvers to offensive maneuvers. When battling the penguin and his deadly umbrellas, I use a swiping motion with my cape to attack and disarm him. Like this. Swipe right, swipe left, night swipe. Can everybody copy Batman's cape move? Swipe right, swipe left, night swipe. That's fantastic. All right. Let's spread our wings a bit on this next move. When getting the drop on an enemy, I take my cape and spread it as far as I can and swoop down. Like this. Swoop up, swoop down. Swoop up, swoop down. Can everybody copy Batman? Swoop up, swoop down. Swoop up, swoop down. Great! You'll all make incredible heroes one day. Hold a beat, Lois. There's one last maneuver that combines all three. In a defensive move, cape attack, and intimidation technique. Follow along with me. Swoop down, cover right, swipe right, swipe left, night swipe, double cover, and heroic pose. Whoa, can you slow that one down for us, Batman? Of course, Lois. Swoop down, cover right, swipe right, swipe left, night swipe, double cover, and heroic pose. Okay, since this is the last one, let's all do it together. Here we go. Swoop down, cover right, swipe right, swipe left. Night swipe, double cover, and heroic pose. Good work. You're all on your you're all on your ways to becoming superheroes in your own right. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you too can protect Earth as members of the Justice League. Thank you, Batman. Thanks, <laughs> Batsy. Hey, if you keep flapping that cape around, maybe you'll fly away. <laughs> what do you want, Joker? Where are you? Oh, you know me. I'm always looking for a good laugh. And since you and your super zero friends are all gathered in the same place, I figured I'd release my world famous laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> laughing gas? You madmen! There are innocent people here! Oh, soups. Everyone deserves a big laugh. And I get one whenever I see you in your blue tights. <laughs> your kind of comedy isn't funny, Joker. <laughs> Don't be such a wet blanket, Wonder Woman. What I've got planned will have everyone doubled over. Cut to the chase already, Joker! What are you up to? Oh, all right already. Yeesh. Elway's so impatient. In just a moment, I'm going to use the mall's ventilation system to unleash my laughing gas on you and your guests. It'll leave you in stitches! <laughs> and when you're having your massive giggle fest, I'll be running around, creating chaos, and committing whatever crimes I want. And you won't be able to stop me. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. We've dealt with this clown before. Just remain calm. He's right. You have nothing to worry about. In fact, you'll be laughing so hard you won't be worried about anything. <laughs> I've locked into the Joker's transmission and I'm jamming it. He can't hear us now. He must be in the control room. Hey, no fair. The sound cut out and I want to hear those gut-bursting belly laughs as soon as the gas kicks in. Great work, Batman. What's our plan? Hey. Flash, I need you to take this antidote and pour it into the mall's ventilation system as quickly as possible. That should counteract the effect of the Joker's toxins. Got it, Batman! Hey, what's happening? 
Stop this. Superman, Wonder Woman, I need your help in redirecting the flow of gas away from the crowd while I go deal with the choke. I'll use my super breath to redirect the flow of the gas from over here. And I'll spin my bow staff to push it back on this side. But I'm going to need your help. Can you all wave your arms to stop the gas from getting any closer? Here, wave your arms up and down like this, everybody! Keep going! I think it's working! Hello? Why isn't anyone laughing? Where did Batman go? Oh, this isn't funny. Gee, thanks for the warm welcome, everybody, but I wasn't gone that long. These young heroes were assisting us in keeping the gas from causing any harm. But it looks like the antidote is working. Great work, everyone, but we still need to take down the Joker. Oh, Bats, where did you come from? Why do you always do that? Because of Batman. We're going back to Arkham Asylum, Joker. Great job, everybody! We got him! Good work! Wow! Oh, what a surprising turn of events! I only expected to be meeting with members of the Justice League. Who would have thought we'd help them take down the Joker? You all acted heroically today. You worked together and remained calm to save the day. And you proved you don't have to be a member of the Justice League to be a hero. You showed tremendous bravery by helping us out. Flash, <laughs> that's true. And with bravery, teamwork, and the right training, someday you too can become superheroes just like us. Well, Lois, it looks like it's time for us to return to our headquarters, the Hall of Justice. Thank you, heroes. And thank you all for coming here today and meeting with the world's greatest superheroes, the Justice League. You all did remarkable work today, and I can eat.